What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Platinum Walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went through the Team Galactic HQ, and, uh, yeah, there was a lot. And I mean a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff going on there. I kind of feel like that dude, Cyrus, is not all up front about uh, his intentions and stuff, so... It looks like, to me, we need to uh, take our talents el elsewhere. You know, we need to... Yeah, we, 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 we need to save the world and all that stuff, because good gravy. By God, this guy is despicable. So, anywho, um, yeah, what are we doing right here? Yeah, we, we, we need to go to Mount Coordinate now, because there's, a, there's something afoot, and I mean a big foot right here. And uh, to me, it looks like we need to buy some more repels, so, yeah, I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, so like I was saying, uh, yeah, there is a trouble afoot, and uh, we need to we need to solve this problem real quick because, well, uh, apparently Cyrus has managed to create himself a boatload of uh, chains, red chains, and all that stuff to, I don't know, summon something, summon, I don't know what he's trying to summon, but it it, it doesn't sound so freaking good. It really doesn't. So uh, let's see. Hmm. We're trying to get to, let's see, we're trying to get to this whole area right here. So let's go right ahead and push this around. Again, this is a Mount Coordinate, and it is a, it's ridiculous when it comes to getting around this whole area. And I think we've made a, we didn't go to the right one. So it looks like to me, we need to go south, I want to say, because we're up north. So let's go right ahead and let's see, what, let's go to Heart Home. Our home. Yeah, let's go to Heart Home. Or, you know what? Let's go to Mount uh, Orberg right here because it's a little bit easier. So, let's go right ahead, speed our way through because we can, and put on a bicycle right here. Let's see. And. Damn it. Okay. There we go. Okay. So, that's that. Now we have to go straight to Mount Coronet, the southern, ro uh, southern region of this whole area. Still haven't played Pokemon uh, Legends Arceus and all that crud. So let's go right ahead and surf away right here. And it's looking like to me that we need more repels and we need rock climb too. So as you guys can see, this section right here where you're going to be needing rock climb, you, you, you really, yeah, this is where you're going to actually end up going in order to get to, uh, well, the areas where, whatchamacallit, Team Galactic is at. So let's go ahead and grab some items. Obviously, we're going to be getting some max repels. We're going to be speeding our way through this whole thing because, well, yeah, it's it, it's it's super laggy, super uh, slow and all that crud. So let's go ahead and grab this. Found ourselves an escape rope. Probably should have stocked up a little bit more on escape ropes, to be honest. And this is an exit. And right here, you're going to be going to Route 207. And finally getting there, getting a timer ball right here. So let's go right ahead and go right here. Found ourselves in the iron. And, well, let's go back and continue grabbing more items right here. As you guys can see, there, 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 there are a lot of places that you can, you, you can actually hide right here. A lot of places that you can actually find some items, like the TM-80 Rock Slide, which is a very important move that we will probably use later on. And, uh, yeah, you're definitely going to need Pokemon that know Strength, maybe Rock Smash, and, uh, well, Rock Climb, obviously. And what else? Not Flash. Keep in mind that, you know, there, there, there's just, oh yeah, Waterfall, too. But that's for a little, uh, that's, that's a little bit later on right there. And here we found ourselves a Max Revive, and, well, we're going to be, damn it! Okay, messing up, so... As you guys can see, me going through the speed button right there, it it, ex it actually accelerates a, quite a few things right here. So anywho, um, let's see, Led episode 26, we're finally going through this whole thing right here. Usually it takes me a long time. <laughs> I I literally had to check out my old Pokemon Platinum walkthrough in order to see where I'm going and all that stuff. And but God, look at this! Oh God, and there's a Looker, and he's like, observe if you will that hole. There was once a cave painting that had blocked the way of the summit, but the wall is, is, uh, is no longer there. It lies in pieces. Do you see? Ever since the three Pokemon of the lakes have been captured, something terrible is happening, but it, what exactly? I do not know. There is but one cause. Team Galactic Cyrus. 
And now we're all caught up, and now the next step. Are you trainer enough to advance? Show me if you will. Haha, <laughs> you can relax now. You see, I understand you are far superior to me. As the commander, Cyrus too, naturally, Team Galactic is beyond my reach. Please, you must stop them, for only you are able. All I can do now is give you this. It's a little something I obtained in an investigation long ago, and here we get ourselves a black flu. That right there is pretty cool. Please, you must stop Team Galactic. Whatever you say, homeboy. And, well, it is time. It's time to defeat Team Galactic and all their cone heads and all that crud. And, uh, well, as always, we're going to be speeding through this whole thing because, well, it's long. It's ridiculous. And, yeah, there's a Team Galactic member right there. So what if we go downstairs right here? We're going to find this. Okay. Found ourselves a star piece, which can be used to, to sell for more money. And, well, let's go right ahead and battle the Team Galactic members right here. Of course, the goal is to evolve more Pokemon than ever. Let's go with an Earthquake attack, just like that. And he is not accepting that. <laughs> okay, bring it on every single Team Galactic member. There we go. This guy's speeding through everything. So let's go right ahead, go with a Stealth Rock, and, uh, well, straight attack for the win. Oh, no. It looks like this Murkrow is a little stronger. And, well, just like that, we win again. All righty. So, let's go right ahead and not grab that that boulder. We're going to be stepping outside of Mount Coronet. As you guys can see, we've been here before, but in the lower the lower levels of this uh, this whole area. This is a, you know, this this right here is actually this can actually make our way to Snow Point City. And uh, well, I didn't know why I did that. So, let's go right ahead and go with the rock climb and go right here. There's a cave right there, but there is... Yeah, okay, so we do need Rock Smash, and there might be a, a special item right there that we need, but we'll see what happens. Uh, first and foremost, let's go right here. And... Not get attacked by Pokemon, but we're going to be finding ourselves another star piece right there. And going straight for Max Repel. Let's go downstairs now. And here we have an entry to the cave. And as you guys can see, Mount Coronet does need a uh, waterfall for the later adventures. But this area right here will be home to another Stardust. And, well, let's go, let's go towards the other entrance right here. It could probably help us out. Probably. Okay, so here's the other entrance of, the, of Mount Coronet. And as you guys can see, we, we really don't need waterfall just yet. And, well, here we have a Hound Dower. Looking at it, it's all cockeyed and everything. And we're going to continue on right here with the Dragon Claw. And there we go. Level 46. And coming out with the Hound Dower, let's go with Poseidon right here. And let's go with a Surf Attack for the win. And just like that, we win. Now, I just realized something. We do have six. We do have six, uh, six rare candies. I probably should just give it to... Uh, Give it to a Toothless right here, so it can grow to level 47, and just like that, guys, we're going to give it another one, because, crap, completely forgot about it. So there we go, level 48, Toothless is finally growing into its final form, the all-powerful Garchomp. Yes. Oh, yes, look at that. Garchomp looking like, uh, like a million bucks right here, look at this. There it is! A very, very powerful Dragon and Ground-type Pokémon. And I think it will be learning a new move, and that is Crunch. Holy crud. Okay, so this move is very powerful. The only problem is that we already have quite a few attacks, so let's go right ahead and take away Stealth Rock for the time being. And let's go ahead and finish out these uh, these these rare candies. So let's give one to Rosemon. Rosemon obviously is learning Petal Dance. And we're going to take away Magical Leaf for right now. And give two to Gaia number two, and it's learning faint. So let's go right ahead and do that, and give one more to Electroshock right here. And now that we now that we learned everything that we needed to learn, let's go right ahead and use the Dawnstone on our good old buddy, nobody. Let's go right ahead and use, let's see, where is it? The Shiny Stone, yes, finally. Okay, so let's go ahead and use the Shiny Stone to Rosemon, and... Just like that, guys. Mm -hmm. We are finally evolving our, well, our, our Roselia. And uh, in due time, too. Look at that. 
So there we go, guys. Rosemon has finally fully evolved into Roserade. Pretty awesome Pokemon. And, well, let's go right ahead and take a look at our two newest Pokemon. Toothless the Garchomp. As you guys can see, it is a Dragon and Ground type Pokemon. A very powerful Pokemon. Very physical. Sandvale, it's his, uh, it's his ability. And here we have our good old buddy Rosemon. Now super powerful. It's much more of a po uh, special attacker. And, uh, well, we don't really need the experience share anymore. So let's go right ahead. Let's go right ahead and give that experience share to Electro Star right here. And let's see. The Black Flu, a Black Flu from Blown from Glass. Its melody makes wild Pokemon less appear. Yeah, we really don't need that. So let's go right ahead and give something to our good old buddy. Our good old buddy, uh, Rosemon. So let's give it the Rose Incense. And that right there. Let's go right ahead and... I think that's pretty much it. So let's go right ahead and finish off this whole thing. Now that we got a powered up Pokemon uh, team. And yeah, it looks like everybody's fully evolved. So let's go right ahead and destroy everybody. There we go. So Golbat's coming now. Let's go with Electro Star so it can gain a little bit more points right here. And Thunder Fang is doing its trick. Look at that. Okay. Okay, so these bullheaded guys are not winning. They're not doing anything right now. And, well, let's go ahead and grab this. Nothing. Nothing right there. And, oh, yeah, there's the exit. Okay. So this one will leave us into another section of Mount Coronet. And before we do anything, grab this. We found ourselves another Moonstone. Could be useful for... You know, evolving a different Pokemon and all that stuff. And if we go right up here, we're gonna be heading straight towards another section. Now we gotta, yeah, we gotta use the repels because, yeah, we definitely can't be, yeah, we definitely can't be getting attacked by any Pokemon right here. And we're gonna be going through this hole right here, and it looks like to me, we are towards the very end of this whole location. So let's see. There we go. There's a man looking at us, or a female. Yeah, he's doing something uh, extremely powerful. So let's go right ahead and beat the crud out of these Pokemon trainers with an earthquake attack. And coming out with a Glam Yell, let's go straight for Gaia number two. Brick Break for the win. And just like that, we are victorious yet again. And, well, let's go right ahead and just continue on the onslaught right here. Dragon Claw for the win. And let's go with uh, Electro Star right here. And go with a Thunder Fang. There you go. And here we go again. And just like that, Electro Star grows to level 38. And yes, you got the taste of defeat. Okay, alrighty. So let's go a little bit further. I think it's time to, let's see. Let's give uh, another Hyper Potion to Toothless. And let's go right ahead. Let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go with Rosemon. I haven't used this Pokemon. Might as well do it right now. And, well, you've worked so hard to get here, you should be proud of yourself. And now I'll send you packing home with the only happy thoughts. Huh. Okay, and well, we are at a disadvantage, so let's go right ahead and switch it out to Electro Star yet again. Poison Fang does not work on us, and just like that, we win. And here comes a Crow Gunk, so let's go straight to Togepri. And Fly Attack for the win. Just like that. And, well, it comes here comes Murkrow. Let's go with this guy right here, and go with the Dragon Claw, and just like that, we have defeated another Team Galactic member. Let's go right ahead and use a full restore on Electro Star, and well, let's go right ahead and get to the very top right here. Okay, so here we are in Spear Pillar, and the messed up part about this is that, yeah... Yeah, there, there, there's just so many things that's going to be going on. It's ridiculous, guys. Okay, so we're saving the game. And as we're going through the Spear Pillar, these guys are going to be like, Our boss is about to do something spectacular. Don't get in the way. Of course you will, won't you? That's why the two of us will team up to take you on in an epic duel. Alrighty. Let's go. Bring it on. Let's defeat these two guys right here. And let's go with the Pedal Dance. There we go. And Brick Break onto that guy. And there we go. Glam Meow is coming up again. 
And just like that, we're kicking some butt, taking some names. Look at that. Oh, wow. And, well, let's go with the grass whistle onto this guy. And Psycho Cut finishes off. And there we go. The combination of good old Draven and, uh, well, Rosemont and guy number two. It never fails. There we go. And just like that, we have defeated these guys. Yes, easy. We are not capable of slowing you. We will let you pass. You can get pulverized by our bosses. Hmm. Yeah, I feel I feel a disturbance in the force. Okay, maximum effort. I might as well heal up my Pokemon and uh, put in a Pokemon that I can actually use. Okay, and take all the credit. So we're gonna go forward, and as you guys can see right here, you got both Team Gal Team Galactic members Mars and I believe Saturn. If you're not go going to listen, you'll have to go through me first. After all, you've made me look bad more times than I can care to remember. Jupiter is like, and I'll be next. You might be tough, but this time, the gloves are coming off. And just like that, Barry's like, hold on one second. Don't start the party without me. Go away, Barry. Huh? Remember me? I'm going to get my revenge. <laughs> if it isn't that little boy. Little crybaby from Lake Acuity. Did you toughen up a bit? Sure, let's battle two on two. Yeah, Barry is a big crybaby, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna purposely do this, okay? So here we go, going up against two Bronzors. I'm gonna use Earthquake just so I can uh, <laughs> just so I can get rid of this guy. There we go. Okay, there it is. All right, and let's go with the Crunch Attack right here. Fire Blast. There it is. Crunch Attack again. Fire Blast. Crunch attack onto that guy, and there we go. I'm clearly doing everything. And, well, let's go with an earthquake attack, and there it is. Perugly has been defeated. Here comes a sludge bomb. Obviously, we are poisoned now. And, well, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to keep on sabotaging Barry just because I do not like the guy. And, well, look at that. We're going to go with uh, this. All right, and there we go. Thundershock or Thunderfang, and well, here we go with a Thunderfang yet again, and Thunderfang, let's go with a a Shockwave attack, and wow, that nearly defeats this guy, so let's go again, and well, it looks like Barry finally did something right here, and Commander Mars and Jupiter have been defeated, and he's like, sheesh, I should have done my, the fighting by myself, huh, <laughs> you toughened up, but you are no match for our boss, are you sure about that? Heh. <laughs> The Pokemon are tough, right? I can get even tougher. But you know, that's it for us. We've hit the wall. Draven, I'll help you out with this. Well, at least you're useful for something. Hey, Draven, this is it. It's your show now. Yeah, he's... he's he, he, yeah, I, I really don't like Barry. Anywho, Cyrus is going to be like... Dot, dot, dot. Everything is ready for the creation of the new world. Now, all will end. Everything will begin. With this, the red chain made from the crystals of the three-legged Pokemon. And this, the red chain, I replicated it with technological means. With these red chains, I will pry open a portal to another dimension. I command to unleash your power for me. Oh, crud. That don't look good. That don't look good. So, we're going to go into a cut screen. Or scene, I should say. Dialga. The mythical Pokemon and Master of Time. And the other, Palkia, the mythical Pokemon and the Master of Space Dimensions. Uh, where are they? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, snap. Oh, damn. That's not good. That is not good. I waited so long for this moment. Dialga, Palkia. Shaping this world is a double spiral of time and space. Yes, the very things that you have the ability to control. You will do my bidding. I will have your abilities as mine. With the power I wield, I will create an entirely, entirely new world. The incomplete and ugly world we have now can disappear. I am resetting everything to zero. Nothing can remain. It is all for making the ultimate world, a world of complete perfection. Nothing so vague and incomplete as a spirit can remain. Uh-oh. Well, 
shit! Look at this. I should have expected as much. Uxi, the being of knowledge. Azulf, the being of willpower. And Mesprit, the being of emotion. Okay. The Pokemon have come to protect Sinnoh. Pathetic and worthless. It takes three of them and three uh, lake Pokemon to symbolize spirit, to balance either the Pokemon of time or space. But they can't maintain balance against the two. Not when both Yalga and Palkia are here. They're coming here in it. They're coming here is in vain. So much meaningless drama. Now, Draven, you've constantly you've constantly interfered with my plans, but you will be forgiven. After all, there will be no spirit for all time, and I am done. All spirit will disappear. It will be ripped away from you, from your Pokemon, from those precious or those precious to you. It will. It is time. My dream will be a reality. Oh well. Uh oh. So that does not feel good. So while this is going on, something is happening. What is this pressure I feel? Something is enraged. Hmm. Yeah. You kind of. Yeah, you kind of pissed off the Pokemon Devil himself. Look at this. Oh my god. Holy buckets. Interesting. So there is a Pokemon that can only appear as a shadow. Oh my god. Regardless, the effort is rash and foolish. I have harnessed the powers of Dialga and Palkia. Uh, did you? Did you really? I think that guy has something different to say. I Cyrus won't have any more. Oh. Well, that shut him up. Anywho, Cynthia is coming out, and she's like, "Hello there." No. Uh oh. So here we have the emotion Pokemon going into what would have to be a uh, black hole. And uh, yeah, holy buckets. He is a doozy. Okay. Alrighty. So, there it is. They're gone. And, well, Cynthia's gonna be like, I'm sorry I took so long. I think I finally found the answer from starting the, uh, the myths. When the world was made, Dialga and Palkia appeared. Apparently, there was one more Pokemon that appeared at the same time. A Pokemon with much power, as much power as Dialga and Palkia. But also one with whose name was never to be spoken. Giratina. It's said to lurk in another world, a world opposite uh, to ours. That's what it, that's what the shadow was. It must have been Giratina. The pillars are distorting. It sh it's because of the portal. It's joined us to the other world. If it's not closed, the distortion will spread to Sinnoh and beyond. Our world will be destroyed. Are you ready? We have to chase Cyrus. We have to hurry. Okay, so we're going to be going into the Distortion World, so I will see you guys in the next episode as we continue our adventure right here in the Distortion World. See you guys.